Excuse me. If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What is going on people? It's your boy Mr. Bucket List here. And once again, I'm doing a video on the Symphony of the Seas, this time showing the key program and my honest review and how I felt about it. Let's check it out. Now, before we get started, there are a couple things I do want to go ahead and break down about this video. Uh, number one, the reason why I call this an honest review, because I am not sponsored by anybody. Everything I do is on from my own wallet. So again, like I said, it's no type of biases or anything like that. I try to keep it real with you all. Number two is this program has changed rapidly. And I mean, over the past year, over the past couple of months, over the past couple of weeks, it's always changing. So there may be some things that's offered in this video that may not be there on your cruise, or there may be some added things on there that I didn't mention that just recently got added on. So again, like I said, just kind of know that before you go into this video and before you even try to buy the key, it may change on you. And lastly, I do keep all of my documents from all my cruises. So all the cruise planners, the key documents that literally gives you a full list of everything. I would put pictures in this video, but they're so, it's just YouTube has a really bad compression quality. So there's no point in doing that. I'm gonna attempt to try to add some links so you all can just download documents if you want to. Um, but just again, like I said, know that if you do do this program, it's gonna be on there. They're gonna give you little sheets when you first walk to your room. Now, the first thing I want to mention is exactly what is the key. Um, so it's almost like a paid for VIP service. You're getting early access to shows. Um, you're, you're having the fastest internet at sea. Um, also the streaming package, you're getting priority embarkation, debarkation, all this stuff that's listed right here. Um, that's what's currently offered in the key program right now. Um, like I said, this is a limited offer. So basically I think they only allow a certain amount of people to receive the key. And then after that, if you try to book it, it's just not going to show up or it's going to say sold out. So it's honestly the way i look at it is it's the best way to get the same type of perks that people that are like pinnacle and diamond plus people that sail a lot with the royal caribbean they spend a lot of money because they have a lot of days on at sea with the royal caribbean it's like the fast track to get into that program you just have to pay on it by a cruise to cruise basis so for me i really like it but a lot of people that are in those tiers they get kind of annoyed at least online they get annoyed about it when you meet them in person they don't really care but online it seems like everybody has a chip on their shoulder for people that actually can purchase the key so again i really like it but i want to give you all the reasons why I really like it coming up. Starting off with the priority embark and disembark. Um, so you'll notice the key benefits right away as soon as your cruise starts at the terminal. Um, for example, on my most recent cruise, um, the general guests had a line of about three to 400 people that were just kind of stationary, just waiting to actually get let in. Versus the key, when I got there, we had about four or five people in front of me um, and we never stopped. We just kept on walking to get straight in. So like I said, that's one of the biggest benefits. You're gonna be one of the first people on the ship and like I said in my solo documentary, I was the first person on the actual pool deck. So it was really cool, especially for a ship like the size of the Symphony of the Seas. And then that also translates to getting back onto the ship when you're at port. So for example, when I was in St. Thomas, it started to rain. And so to get back on the ship, a lot of people were trying to hurry up and get back on because they didn't want to get wet. But when you got to the gangway, there was two different lines. There was one for key guests and priority guests. And then there was another line for everyone else. And so unfortunately, because there were so many people rushing to get back onto the ship, a lot of people were stuck in the rain, kind of go through security work versus us. We just literally just walked straight through. And we also had our own elevators, which is always a big plus on any cruise ship. Now, this is one of my favorites. I'm going to keep it brief, um, but it's pretty straightforward. You're going to get private hours to activities. So in my case, in my cruise, it was the ice skating ring. It was the um, flow rider. It was um, the rock climbing wall, the zip lining, a couple of slides, almost all the activities, outdoor and indoor, you're going to have your private times. Now, the private times are usually pretty early in the morning, like seven or eight o'clock in the morning. So that's one thing to think about. But either way, not having to line up and not having to just be around a bunch of people and getting limited time. Like literally you can pay for private hours on the flow rider. I think it's like $90 or $180, just depending on how, how much time you get. Or if you get the key, it's like you can get the same experience for a lot less. So I really enjoyed it because I'm someone that loves to do like thrill seeking type stuff. And this was really a huge plus for me and it worked out perfectly. 
Now this is a change that's deemed controversial, at least like on social media and different groups I was looking on, but I mean, what's not controversial on, on the internet? Um, but anyway, so as far as the shows, so what we end up getting now is actual early access to all the stage shows instead of reserved seating. Um, the funny thing that just, I don't understand why people are not liking the change is because when you think about it, if you get early access, you can literally pick any seat you want instead of just being relegated to one particular set of seats. Um, now, what I did to make sure I always had the best seat was there are still reserved seats, but it's for the star class. And if you know anything about Royal Caribbean, the star class is a lot of money to get those seats. And so, I mean, it's just you're definitely going to get the best seats in the house if you pay for that type of service. And so what I did was I literally sat right beside the star class and everyone in the shows. So, for example, on the show flight, they were like way in the back. I'm like, why would they be way in the back for the star class? And I thought about it. I was like, man, if they're in the back, that means something's up. And so sure enough, when I sat in that show, when the, the plane started to fly around the whole auditorium, if you were sitting in front row, you would have to turn around and nearly just snap your neck to try to see everything. But when we sat at in the star class, well, beside the star class, you could see everything. And it was just, I will say, thank goodness. So with the key, that makes it a lot easier than having your own reserved seating because most likely if they did it that way, you wouldn't be necessarily beside those people. You would just basically be wherever they tell you to sit. So it's really cool. As you all see in the videos, I was able to kind of have the whole theater to myself multiple times. And when I did want to sit in the front row, I sat in the front row. So really a good plus. All right. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go over the food and both the room service and also the key premium breakfast. Um, now, this is this is something that has, again, was controversial because they included this complimentary room service when they took out the previous um, welcome lunch that was at Chops Grill or had the Chops Grill menu. So a lot of people are upset about this, but I actually like this change. And apparently this is not going away anyway. And they have brought back the Chops Grill. So like I said, a lot of things have recently changed. Just keep that in mind when you're watching this video if you think I left something out. Um, now, as far as the room service, so what it basically means is any type of room service that you get, Usually, they don't charge you by item, but they charge you by delivery fee. So you have a $7.95 delivery fee each time you call it, including for the hot breakfast. And so for me, I really enjoy this because basically if I didn't want to get stuck going to the buffet, if I didn't want to wake up early to go to breakfast, it didn't matter because I had this, this complimentary room service and it just, I mean, the food, the, the quality of the food that was actually included, I actually really enjoy, including the wings. I love hot wings, and so the wings were really good. And then the breakfast was really good as well. So again, like I said, you're waving a $7.95, $7.95 fee every time you're using this. And I mean, I use this multiple times in one day. So again, it, it really worked out. And then as far as the actual breakfast, so it's a little breakfast that you have at the end of the um, cruise where it's the key members and Pinnacle Plus and Star. All the priority guests have this really nice breakfast. And if you all can see the food in this video, the food was really high quality. It was really good. Um, this is my first time having Eggs Benedict and it actually had included crab meat and this and that. And I just, I thought I was going to hate it, but it was actually really, really good. So something I would have never tried if it wasn't for the keys. So once again, all included, not to mention you can go to this breakfast, they'll come and grab your bags for you, and then you can literally just walk straight off the ship anytime you want. And as, as soon as you get off the ship, your bags are gonna be sitting there in a special little key area, or like me, I just decided to take my bags with me and they just kind of kept in the dining room while I was eating. So they give you so many flexibility options when you do the key, it's definitely working. Now there are a couple more things that the key does offer. Um, for example, if you buy any type of specialty dining or any type of just additional dining, they're gonna give you a 25% 25, 25 discount off your purchases. And then of course, the main reason why I bought the key, and this is gonna come into my summary and why I think it was amazing value, at least for myself, is it includes um, the internet. So like I said, it's the fastest internet at sea. It does include streaming. I didn't think I was gonna use the streaming until I actually did and I actually really enjoyed it because it was really good quality. Um, and that, again, is the main reason why I bought it. So for example, I have to buy internet packages when I go out of the country. It's just because of what I do, it's a necessity. And so I was gonna buy the internet package no matter what. Unfortunately, Royal Caribbean offers two different internet tiers. One is just the, the internet without streaming. The other one is internet plus streaming. I made the mistake of buying the one without streaming on the Mariner of the Seas. Um, and then thankfully they upgraded me for free after I realized how terrible it was, but they will throttle it. It's not going to work that well. So if you're going to buy the internet package, it's a requirement to buy the higher tier or it's just, it's not going to be reliable. And so ironically, when I was going to buy the higher internet tier for this cruise at the time period, it was about $18.99 per day. 
Um, but the key itself is about $21.99 per day. And so it was a couple of dollars more. I'm like, I, mean, I might as well with all these additional benefits. I kept hearing all these different bad reviews about how bad it is. It's such a ripoff and Royal Caribbean's nickel and dime. You, uh, just what I have to say about that is, folks, if you're going on a cruise ship, I mean, what do you expect? Like, I mean, you're getting all those type of services. Of course, they're going to charge you for it. So that was the least of my worries. I just didn't want to buy something that didn't feel like I was actually going to use. And the key ended up being literally one of, the favorite, one of my favorite parts of the trip. Um, so let me go ahead and just kind of throw the rating out there. If you're like me, where you're a solo cruiser, you have to buy the internet package and you don't mind just, like I said, paying a couple of dollars more and you want to actually have the best experience possible. There's so many other things I can mention, but I'm just going to put it out there for my rating. This is definitely going to be a must do. Now there is a flip side to this. Um, this key may not be for everyone. So again, I just want to give you all a quick reminder of those who may not be interested in this. Um, one, of course, if you're not interested in connecting to the internet, if you truly want to go on a cruise to be on a vacation and say you're on vacation, if you're one of the people that don't really care about things like the flow rider, the ice skate, and the rock climbing, zip line them all, if you can care less about getting to the shows early, if you just want to actually just see the shows, not necessarily front row, um, again, if you're not really cared about, if you don't really care about room service, even if you know you're going to do the buffet or a specialty dining or even the MDR or stuff like that. And then the main thing I want to say is, of course, if you're one of those higher tiers that I mentioned, someone the other party gets that's already on board, people like Diamond Plus, Pinnacle, if you're definitely in the star class, there really is no reason to do the key. I mean, yes, you have access to a couple other things that you may not have in those classes, but I mean, if you're already at that tier, there's really no reason to even consider those other things because you probably got other stuff that I don't even know about. Um, so again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is just something I really want to mention because the key is in a lot of people's mind. Um, for example, my crew is I think I pay a little bit under 170 after everything, including tax for the key. Like I said, it didn't include the internet, the main thing I was concerned about, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so again, if you all enjoyed this video, please, if you don't mind, maybe share it with somebody. A lot of people are curious about this program, so share it with them. I do plan to get those links in the description so you can download the actual key documents um, once I find out how to do it. And then again, like I said, just subscribe for more videos. I'll see you soon. It's your boy, Mr. Bucket List. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.